Well, Americans will celebrate Independence Day this week, and it's a great time to remember the sacrifices of our military men and women. And CBS2 charity contributor and philanthropic advisor Lisa Dietland is here to share a little about the organizations helping our veterans and soldiers and their families. Well, good morning. Thanks hey, for coming in. Good morning. Now, first off, you know, each branch of service has an organization that's dedicated to their members to provide emergency financial help and more. Tell us a little bit about that. How does that work? Well, it, it works great. They're private nonprofits, and they were founded in the 1900s from about 1904 until the World War II, and it's the Army Emergency Relief Organization. It's the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society and the Air Force Aid Society, and these organizations exist to provide support, financial primarily, to both the troops and their families. So you think about somebody who has their car breakdown and their loved one is serving in the military and they need help fixing it or they can't pay the rent or utilities or food or even it's sad to say funeral expenses mm. these organizations provide those resources and they also all have an undergraduate scholarship fund that is something a little different operation homefront great organization founded about uh, nine years ago by a woman whose husband was deploying with the Navy and she wanted to talk to someone so she hopped on the internet and lo and behold you know nine years later we have 400,000 military women and wives talking to each other and it's called the commander-in-chief of the house because when their spouses leave actually the women become the commander-in-chiefs of the house running the household but they also provide financial services they help when relocation happens and you have to move or you need a uh, computer because you want to talk to your loved one overseas or even baby food so oh they, they do a lot these women do a lot to help other women that's fantastic now another thing that's really important many of our men and women are coming back severely injured they are. and there's an effort to really help those in need especially when it comes to that tell us about that there is it's called the wounded warrior project and it was founded by a man who himself was wounded in the first Gulf War um, he realized that when he was being airlifted to a military trauma center he did not have some necessities you know and his family wasn't around to provide it at that time and when he saw the men and women coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq, he said, I need to do something. So he created this program where it's a backpack. It's a backpack filled with clothing, toiletries, a CD player, playing cards, um, phone card. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a little bit of touch of home, and it's that thing you need when you're in a military trauma center. Maybe your family's in North Dakota, but you're in Maryland getting treatment. And there's also a transitional care pack so that when you're on that flight back home, you have some comforts of home. Now, speaking about a touch of home, the USO, traveling and <laughs> Bob <entertaining>. Hope. Right. <laughs> we all remember Brooke those. <laughs> Brooke, all, we always remember those holidays, and they do. That is their mission, morale boosting and entertaining, providing a touch of home. 130 centers throughout the country and throughout the world, and more than 5 million people accessed them last year. Now, you say you don't really have to get directly involved. There are other things you can do. So what are some other ways to support? Well, I was thinking about that. And, you know, Fourth of July is one of my favorite mm -hmm. holidays because it celebrates our independence and who we are. And I often think we forget about that. So fly a flag. Fly a flag in honor mm -hmm. of our country and independence and the military men and women serving. Also think about visiting a VA hospital. There's people who are there who could use some companionship mm -hmm. and a visit. And you could even volunteer there. Also think about, you know, going to um, uh, American Legion or VFW Hall and talking to some veterans who are there. You know, they have wonderful stories to tell. And we're hearing that a thousand World War II veterans are dying each day, mm. from 16 million strong to 2.5 million. And if you know a military person, write to them, email them, tell them that you support them. It is so important on this Independence Day to really think about that it's those men and women serving us that are allowing us to have our independence and freedom. Lisa, thank you so much. Great tips as always. Thank you. And again, for more information on how to help our men and women serving our country, go to our website for the information that you can find as well about the charities mentioned. And you can also see on our website Lisa's top five tips. Head to CBS2Chicago.com and just click on Morning News.